Hi everybody, Scott Fuller here with another edition of the East Bay Real Estate Market Minute, the fastest 60 seconds in real estate. Today we're going to be talking about the price per square foot, the cost for a home, price per square foot along the BART lines in the San Francisco Bay Area. This is pretty interesting stuff. Before I get to that, on our website, as always, there's a couple great resources on there. They're free. Take advantage of them. One is to get your home value. You can click on a link. And the other one is to uh, search for homes in the East Bay. So if you're interested in selling or just getting a valuation for your property or looking for homes, take advantage of those links. They're a free resource. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the average price per square foot for homes along the BART lines in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you're not from the San Francisco Bay Area, you're probably wondering, well, what is BART? It's Bay Area Regional Transit, and it's basically the mass transit system in the San Francisco Bay Area. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to put a graphic up on the screen right now. So what this is going to show you is that for the BART lines that go up into the Richmond area, as far down as Millbury Southwest, and then as well as Northeast, uh, North Concord, Martinez, as well as um, Southeast Fremont area, you can see that the price per square foot for homes varies quite a bit. Now, I want to give credit to Estately.com who provided this information. Um, and so you can see on here that as you get into San Francisco, price per square foot gets up above $1,000 a square foot. Now, again, the prices actually might be a little bit higher than what you're seeing here because this this graphic here is just a little bit dated, but this gives you a pretty good indication. As you get into uh, the Concord and I'm sorry, the uh, the Oakland stops along Fruitvale Coliseum, it goes down to a nearly you know three hundred dollars a square foot. So if you're wondering why there's so much demand for people to live in the East Bay right now, pretty much demonstrates it right here. When you have people who are in San Francisco who are looking to move to the East Bay. Obviously, the price per square foot is a lot more advantageous for them. They can buy a lot more for their money. So that's why we have that along with the better schools. We have a lot of people moving to the East Bay, thus continuing the increase in demand. So hope you find this graphic helpful. If you'd like me to email you a copy of this, let me know. And um, as always, hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.